help me welcome the once and future first daughter of the United States. My mother has a deeper record of um, both advocating but delivering. And I think a real progressive is someone who has a record of actually being able to deliver progress. For some reason, they don't like your mom. And I have no idea. I find myself like the only person who's pro-Hillary for this election. And I have no idea why. My mom has just been under attack uh, right, my whole life. I mean, probably even longer. In 1969, she gave her commencement speech at Wellesley um, and gave a quite... Uh, active, unapologetic anti-war speech, and she wound up on the cover of Life magazine, and she wound up as sort of the poster child of everything that was wrong with her generation for conservatives, too. So I guess actually she's really been um, kind of under attack from people who want to protect the status quo, protect current structures of power. What's unfortunate is that so many, and this is again speaking as an unabashedly proud daughter, what I think is unfortunate at this moment in time um, is that so many, I think, people who identify as Democrats or independents or progressives or some combination therein um, have forgotten or don't know all the work that my mom has done. I'm a young millennial woman and I'm stumping for Hillary and so is Katy Perry and so is Demi Lovato and so is Lena Dunham and yet where's that story that you know young millennial women are inspired by Hillary and I often watch uh, you know the news programs and wonder why are we compelling a woman who's running for the highest office in the land to to talk sexier to millennials than compel millennials to look deeper than buzzwords. <laughs>